But this is this was I want let's be clear, let's make con let's keep everything in context. This is many, many, many years ago. This isn't something that is, is too recent. In my, my early, early twenties. Yes. Still, still very cool with this girl. She's super great. She still doesn't really like me that much though. So this should be interesting. It should be very interesting. So, uh I'm not gonna say her name. I'm just gonna walk to the uh what is this called? Uh Funk, what is this? I asked for a curtain and they gave us some Austin Powers 70s Liverpool shit. Now this how this how this how you get weed from uptown. You slide the dub through the here. And they send that boot right through here. Alright, so no, no wonder everyone's locked up. Here we go. So um, I'm gonna ask this young lady some questions about her relationship with Rory, just so I can kind of get because you know, men, we don't really ask our friends too many invasive questions about their relationships. We kind of just let our friends offer information that they want to, and we kind of give advice. But tonight, I'm going to get very invasive. I'm going to ask some really, really wild questions about Rory's past, just so I can get to know my guy. I already know he's a nasty white boy, that's all I know. But I want to know some more things. Okay, so. Well, Rory, ask, ask if she's okay. Are you okay back there? Okay, good. Let's speak up a little bit. Yeah, turn her mic up. I need the people to hear her, please. Okay, so uh, Rory's we, friend. We didn't mic check my terrible past experiences. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. I got you. Terrible. I like and off. I like the energy. Okay. okay. Okay, so Rory's old friend. What is the most romantic thing Rory has ever said or done? Uh, most romantic thing... It's definitely, I love you, the way he says it, but that's during sex, so it could have been a lie. <laughs> okay. So that's the most romantic thing my guy has ever said, I love you. Nah, he called me a visionary. Yo, if Kanye could be called a visionary, I could be called one too. That is true. But saying I love you never says. So, so I love you is the most romantic thing he's ever said. What's the most romantic thing he's ever done? Ah. Uh. Mm. He took me out for my birthday. We did a, a nice little festivity. I can't get into too crazy, but it was a first date, and he went, you know, over and beyond. I mean, I think we stayed in the holiday in, but <laughs> no, back then that's over and beyond. That was the budget back then. Don't worry about it. It was the finest of the area. You take what you can get, people. <laughs> How often do you still think about Rory romantically? Mm. Are you purring back there? <laughs> Right. Uh, think about him in a romantic manner, not too much. We we moved past that. We're very good friends. Plus, Wait, they, they, there's no such thing as BWC. So. I'm sorry. What is what is BWC? Uh, do you know the term BBC? Pause. <laughs> pause. Pause. But yes, I, I do know what you mean. It's crazy that I know what that means too. But. BWC. There's, there's no category for that. I bought, I bought you a medium well steak and it took you to the holiday and you don't think about me romantically anymore? Ladies, 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 get him, please. <laughs> okay. What would you go back and change about your relationship with Rory? Change about it. Ah, not too much. We, had a, we, were, we were really toxic, but it, it worked. It worked for us. It was really toxic. But toxic is the way to go. I've been trying to tell people. It's the only successful relationship you can have. I'm not gonna lie. No toxicity. It's not that fun. Oh, so you're toxic. Oh, so you like the toxicity. What was the most toxic thing I did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's pick a time. Uh, well, there was a girl that we had a threesome with way, way, way back in the day. Allegedly. 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 And entertainment purposes. Uh -huh. And he may or may not have decided to double back and try and put us in the group chat sometime later and say, Jesus loves you. I hope everyone is blessed on this Sunday to try and use God to get his way back into some pussy. <laughs> I wanted to check on them, we had to 
smoke in a while, so I figured let's all get a good chat and share a cool experience. Like, happy Sunday. I'm judging all you men trying to praise your way to pussy. I'm judging y'all. I can hear y'all. Alright, uh, how many white guys have you dated before and after Rory? Hello? He's the uh, only one? Is he the unicorn? I don't think, is Dr. Umar in the audience? I don't think I should answer this. Oh, <laughs> safe space, this is a safe space. Safe space, uh, let's say none. I like that answer. Huh? Oh, I Does love, he like that answer? I love a liar. <laughs> Alright, uh, what are some of your pet nicknames for Rory? What do you call when he's in a bed acting like an animal? Okay, do you want to hear the cutest or the nastiest? I just want to hear any. I don't know any of those names, so anything works. Well, my nickname for him was, was always Bubs, but when we were... <laughs> Bubs? <laughs> Yo, the wrong dude! Wait, 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 wait. It gets worse. It gets worse. When we were joking about, you know, what if we created an OnlyFans? It was, uh, Queen and Skim Milk. <laughs> Call this nigga skim milk. <laughs> Yo, you don't think that an OnlyFans page of a queen and skim? Come on. Queen and skim? I'm charging $25 an hour for queen and skim milk. I mean, you more like strawberry quick. I wouldn't say like skim milk, but okay. I feel seen. Damn, I'm trying to think of something really, really good I can ask this young well, about Rory. There was an early episode that we had where I discussed an old partner of mine that asked for my advice at one point for a career move and an inner circle move with me. And I thought I gave her some really good advice. And it ended up being some really good advice. And then she chose the man that I put her on to in that career advice and ended up sleeping with that man. This was a big conversation I think in our early episodes. Yeah, I remember. I would wonder if that woman is behind that curtain right now. This is a nasty white boy. <laughs> this is a nasty white boy. Rory, do you mind if I go behind this, uh, whatever this is, and, and take a look at your old friend? I don't even know what she looks like. I didn't get it. I, I, don't, I don't even know who you guys have back there. Okay, so let me, I just want to see what she looks like. That's my motherfucking boy. <laughs> okay. Boy got taste. I, I expressed a very vulnerable moment. I mean, so I, thought, I thought this was my people. I said we had done talking. I can't be mad at her. She's supposed to do whatever she wants to do. It's not my business. And I gave her this advice to go into this circle of people, and then she ended up sleeping with that person. Uh -huh. Did that hurt? Like, did it hurt your heart? I was crushed. <laughs> but, but, but how did it crush you if it wasn't like, that's not your girl at the moment? So you say the feelings were still there. You still had a soft spot for the young lady. When career advice is given, leave that one alone. I kind of want to know, was my career advice that fucking good? <laughs> that she went with the career? Do you have a response to that? I think that sounds like hate. Rory, you were hating. But it's okay, because she is beautiful, so I do understand and I'll give you a pass this one time. But as your black brother, I must say, you cannot be mad when your ex moves on to another guy and has right. a great time. You can't. Let's, let's take it to the next level. Who is better? I don't like that it took this long. I mean, are you trying to find out again? I mean, I heard there was a girl to stage left that was trying to get crazy. <laughs> Do your thing, man. I like his raps. Anything else I should know about you and your friends or relationship? Is there anything this young lady wants to get over chest in front of people that she didn't want to say to me? Yeah, is this something you and want to talk about? I think, I think you went kind of easy. Get up. Get to the nitty the nitty gritty? Okay, what's the nastiest thing you and Rory have ever done? Uh, uh, uh. Let's hear it. I mean... I know he's a nasty Irishman, I know that. Oh, okay, that's, that's 
front. That's regular, regular. That's regular. Have you ever seen a woman wear a man like a turtleneck? Wait, like, excuse me? Like a cashmere sweater? What the fuck? Wait. Okay, no, 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 this is good. This is... No, 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 wait. No, 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 wait. Don't call me turtleneck in the streets. I feel like I should have known this before the negotiations. Hold on. Have you ever bent him like a daddy long leg? Wait, Rory's flexible? Yeah. Hey. I didn't know that. You were bending him like a what? Say that again? Like a daddy long leg. She bends you like a daddy long leg, huh, Rory? Hey. I always knew you was a nasty white boy, man, but I didn't know. I was an athlete. 